Yo right guys, it's Game Boy Luke here and welcome back to another Pokegen tutorial for X and Y. Uh, as some of you may know, uh, the Nintendo are actually going to be taking down the Wi-Fi servers for like the Nintendo DS and the Wii and stuff, meaning the previous tutorial I posted, uh, which uses the GTS to hack Pokemon into Black and White 2 to then move into X and Y, cannot be done anymore. Uh, we have, I've, I've talked to a couple of people and there is another way around this. Unfortunately, it means you have to buy a, uh, a product called the uh, R4i Save Dongle. I'll leave a link to where I purchased this item from. Uh, I did the, the website did look kind of dodgy, but I managed to get this uh, from this website. Um, it does post from like China or something, which is the only problem. It is quite cheap, however. So, I mean, if you want to go ahead and take the risk and go buy this. I mean, I got one. Uh, I got one through. If you can find another website... Uh, whether it's where that sells these things, um, then go ahead and uh, buy one from there. But I will be um, leaving a link to where I put, where I bought mine in the description and uh, see if you guys can pick one of these up. But um, this is basically the only way we can Pokegen into uh, X and Y now because obviously the, the, the servers are going down. Um, I haven't really planned out how I'm going to do this tutorial so well. I just thought, you know, I need to make a new one of these because the Wi-Fi servers are going down. So um, I've made a Pokemon here. I have a, I have a Pokemon file here. Uh, if you go back to the one, like the first tutorial, I show you guys how to um, gen a legit, legitimate Pokemon. If I actually, if I just go to the start button here, open up Pokegen, uh, load up Pokegen, and open up the uh, this, this folder here, you can see that I have the fourth gen and fi fifth gen templates right here. Um, I'll leave a link to those in the description. And um, basically, these are these are pretty solid templates that work pretty much every time. Uh, the fifth gen templates. Uh, should only ever be used for Pokemon that are in 5th gen or Pokemon in 4th gen that need uh, hidden abilities. Uh, Pokemon in 4th gen are Pokemon from 4th gen that need, that um, require moves from previous uh, previous games such as, say, if, like, move tutors in Platinum, you need uh, to do a Pokemon from there. Otherwise, if you do, if you do the Pokemon from 5th gen, do a 4th gen Pokemon from a 5th gen game that has a move that can only be taught from a tutor in Platinum or something, it will not go through. One thing I learned the hard way. Um, so if you want to say Gen A, uh, I don't really know an example, but say there's a move tutor for... Uh, so, uh, right, example, there's a move tutor for Explosion on Platinum. And you want, and you teach... Uh, okay, it's actually Self-Destruct. There's a move tutor for Self-Destruct on Platinum. And you want to teach your Snorlax Self-Destruct. Uh, and you do your, your Snorlax from 5th Gen and it has to move self-destruct, it's not going to go through because the game's going to be like, hold on a sec, Snorlax can only learn self-destruct in 4th gen, so this is an illegal Pokemon, no, it won't go through. So if you do the Snorlax from 4th gen, and say it has that self-destruct, then the game will let it go through. So it is kind of complicated, um, I'll leave a link to these in the description, like I said, like, like I just said, um, these were in my previous video, and I did go into a little bit more detail with those last time. So I did just open up this 5th gen template, and create this powerful, 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 powerful wish cash right here. Uh, his name's his name's God. Um, I did just you know this was actually going to be used in one of my um, one of the videos I'm making. Um, but yeah, I made this Pokemon. Uh, I basically wiped the PID. Um, you leave that blank. Type all your stuff in. Make sure the Met is something like this. Um, I've made sure the EVs are below 510. The uh, attacks all um, all legit, and the OT and stuff is like so. Now. All I'm going to show you is how to use this white this this save dongle. So if I open up this program, you're going to get this really 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 weird ass screen. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug this into my USB hub now, and we're going to get this, and it's going to say card to PC or PC to card. And as you can see, the game info says black two. Um, so if we go card to PC, and then on the bottom we'll just put uh, test black two. And if we just hit save, you'll notice that this progress bar is going to shift across. Now, um, to get this working, I did have to update the firmware on this. Um, I guess I can show that real quick. I think the firmware file is in my recycle bin, uh, which is here. So if I just restore that, I'll show you how to do that in a second. But when the first time I did this and I tried opening the save file in Pokegen, the, the file wasn't recognized or something. So, uh, yeah. I'll show you how to uh, update the firmware as well. I do have the software for that, so I can just actually, whilst that's doing that, basically what you do is if you come here, let me go in here, and I don't want to open up, actually, I don't think I, do I have it anymore? I must have deleted it. Did I delete it? Luke! There it is. There it is, there it is, there it is. All right, so here's the, the firmware update. I'm just going to leave that to finish before I open it. I don't want it to 
break it or anything. So it says it's going to present you with a dialog box that says save game data from card to PC successfully. Now that's done, you can pretty much close that. But if you um, open up this uploader, this is the firmware updater, which you have to go download the firmware file from R4i's website. You basically just plug it in, push the update button on the, uh, as you can see, there's like an update button. This is this is what it looks like. You click that button and it goes into update mode. You open up the bin file, then program, and it just sets the firmware to the latest version uh, with those two files. But you just you just basically download those from R4i's website, which I will link also in the description below. So, now that we have our save file, which is right here, we basically go, uh, go back into PokerGen. Uh, we're going to hit, hit file, then open, and then actually open up the save file. And it's going to show your team, as you can see, um, and all that jazz. What we're going to do is going to go open again, and we're going to open up the Pokemon we want to gen. So we've got the Pokemon that we want to gen here, and then you right click uh, this box one slot and hit set. And that's going to set your wish cache or whatever Pokemon you want into that box. And if you want to be anal, you can come over to the OT and click load from save file, and it's going to load your OT into this save file, which is a legitimate OT. Um, if that has anything to do with PokerGen not liking your, your OT, if you just hit that and you get all the um, the trash bites in there as well. So this pretty much uh, ensures the chat, the fact that your Pokemon is going to be legit. And if we um, go ahead and click save file, that is going to save uh, the save file. And now we can go back into the save dongle and now go PC to card, um, go to my desktop and then load the updated save file into the... Um, into the card, so we're gonna wait for that to go ahead and do so. It looks like it's frozen right now, but I'm guessing I'm guessing it's just taking a while to to load. <clears throat> okay, so whilst that's doing that, I'm actually gonna set up my uh, my capture card to go. Ahead. Let's move you over here quickly. Let's just open up my. Uh, which I can't do that yet. Let's just plug you in. Open up the 3DS and now open up my. Capture card software, which is going to load on my second screen. Let's go config uh, ratio. I need to mute you because that's going to get annoying. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, so da -da 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 -da. Display both screens. Same size. There we go. All right. So you can see my screen here. By the way, this is not an emulator. This is a real 3DS. I had a freaking load of comments saying, where'd you get your 3DS from? 3DS emulator from? Oh my God, it's crazy. It's, it's a capture card, guys. And it's a program that is linked to my 3DS, which displays this program. Calm your beans. All right. Okay. So I'm going to take out my X my Y copy. Sorry. Let's just turn that out. And I'm also waiting for this save file to, to transfer. It's taking a hell of a long time. I guess it's kind of a, t it must be a, a, a heavy process or something, but it definitely beats having to go on the Wi-Fi all the time and going to the GTS when you can just directly edit your save file. Um, it just makes things easier, in my opinion. So this is, this is taking a hell of a long time, actually. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, I'll leave the templates in the um, in the description. They seem to work for a lot of people. I used to, I was I was sending them out to a few of my friends as well, and a lot of friends said to me that they were that they were good templates and that they worked. So I will leave them in the description. And I think we're just about done here. I think. There we go. So we have Nuz dialogue uh, saying, "Write game data from PC to card successfully." Now that's done. We're gonna close you. Oh, it's stopped working. That's pretty. I don't know it's pretty buggy software. Anyway, let's um grab the 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 the, the cap the, 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 the cart and stick that in my 3ds and load that. I'm gonna turn the volume off my 3ds and now we gonna load our game up real quick. Gonna get no signal and then it's gonna bring my game just to show that uh, wish cache is in the um in the game. You don't have to do this yourself. You don't have to check because I'm assuming you guys, you know, you're going to know that your Pokemon is is there. And I mean, the good thing about this is that you never have to load your Black 2 game again ever. You just all you have to do is make sure the Pokemon is there. Plug your y, uh, y copy in or rather go to your um just go to Pokemon Bank. You don't even need to go into this. So it's gonna load, and I think we're like I'm pretty more, I'm pretty sure I'm stood outside. Oh no, I'm not. Okay, right. If we go into the PC and move Pokemon, uh, you can see right here that my wish, my wish cache is here. So now that we've um, confirmed that wish cache is there, we can easily just head over to um, the Pokemon transfer. So there's the, the, also the good thing about this is that we don't have to mess around with DNS codes and stuff. Uh, people were complaining that. They have to change their DNS code every single time, and it was easier for people that had two DSs. For, but for those that aren't fortunate enough to have two D eight, two two three DSs, um, this saves a lot of time. So we're gonna come over to Poke Poke Transporter, um, uh, connect to the internet first, of course, 
And, 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 we are going to sign in. Connect the internet once more. And whilst this is connecting, oh, that's already connected, never mind. And we are going to transfer the wish cache over. And I mean, what what this this makes things easier as well because if your Pokemon doesn't get transferred, you don't have to go through the whole tedious process of sending your wish cache to your save file again through GTS. You can just export your save file right off the bat. And as you can see, there's the wish cache. I can easily transfer that Pokemon. And I'm guessing you guys know, you know, the the rest of the story. I'm basically just gonna drop him over into my Y copy through uh, Pokemon Bank. Um, I'll go ahead and show it anyway. But this is basic. This is so. I mean, look how fast this video has been on ten minutes, and I spent half the video explaining. So it takes a good, like, three or four minutes just to get the Pokemon in. I think you'll spend most of your time just um, actually making the Pokemon. Um, but if I go over to, to Bank now, I can go ahead and transfer the uh, the Wish Cash into my game. Uh, saving a hell of a lot of time. And I'm so glad I picked this up. It only took about a week and a half to get here as well. I live in the UK. Um, and it's shipped with Hong Kong Post or something like that. So I got here faster than I expected it to. So, right now I'm going to use Pokemon Bank, connect my Y copy, it's going to communi yeah, look, communicate real quick, and, man, it's always, always communicating. Just get on with it, Pokemon Bank, oh my god. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, the main problem is really is just getting legit Pokemon through, but if you use my templates and listen to the advice I gave you at the start of the video, then I can't see that you'd have any problems. So I'm just going to stick him in this random ass box, save my game, send the data to the server, and then what we're going to do is go into my Y copy um, and check out that wish cache is there. So disconnect from the internet, home button, and back to Y. There we go. So yeah, the, the 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 product cost, the actual product itself, cost about fifteen bucks, I think. Um, fifteen dollars. Well, that's like that's like ten pound, not even ten pound. And then the shipping was like five dollars. So it's cheap. It's a cheap product that can save you a hell of a lot of time. I mean, it beats getting a second 3DS and having to to go ahead and do all that crap. So I'm gonna go and organize organize boxes. Uh, come all the way over here, and as you can see, wish cash is right here. So. There you go. If you want to go ahead and buy this product, the um, the link will be in the description. I'm sure it will help a lot of you out. Um, and if you have enjoyed this video and it have, if it has helped you, don't forget to leave a rating. And if you have any problems, don't forget to comment. I do read the comments uh, and I'll try and help any of you out. So thanks a lot for watching and um, I will see you guys later.